Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So this past week I was kind of cruising around eBay, just looking at cameras and whatnot online, trying not to buy anything. And I came across this little device that said it would print 35 millimeter slide film images. So positive images onto Polaroid film. Naturally, I ordered it immediately. Once again, at the table with another box. Here it is, this is the printer that I ordered off of eBay. This was around $30, which quite a lot of money for this, I think, but I hope it lives up to the expectations and maybe we get some beautiful FP100C prints. Oh, wow. I did not know this was coming in the original box, which is quite beautiful. I might have to show you this thing up close. That just looks so cool. So this is the Vivitar Instant Slide Printer. It turns your 35 millimeter slides into nice FP100C prints. Wow, this really is truly the original packaging. Styrofoam from, what year is this? Ooh. So here is the actual printer. So this printer uses Fuji FP100C pack film, which is a pretty legendary instant film format. This kind of film came out in 1984, and it's a really beautiful peel apart film that is pretty close to the size of a four by five negative. Second excitement. It's everywhere. Do you have your Polaroid color pack camera? It's by far one of my favorite instant films because of how beautiful the prints are that it produces. But unfortunately, in 2016, they basically cut all production of FP100C and all their other peel apart films, which is really sad. There was a nice long lasting supply that lasted for a couple more years. And currently I have three boxes of this stuff which were given to me by a buddy of mine, Jamal, who watches the channel. So here's kind of what the actual thing looks like. So in the front, you basically have a spot to put your slides. There's an exposure adjustment for making the prints brighter or darker, obviously the print button and a timer. So it really is super simple. I have three packs of this left and I feel like this is a good use of one of them. Okay, so film has been loaded. I figured it out. There you go, you can see the tab sticking out there. Now all that's left to do is to go grab some positive slides and we can make some prints. So my images here aren't life-changing. These were some slides that I shot on my, am I to focus? They're just some fun slide photos that I've shot on my Contax G1. So most likely these are out of focus, but that should be fine for FP100C. Now I just gotta find one that I like enough to print. Here's kind of the holder situation. This isn't too ideal, I guess, because it means I'm gonna have to cut these negatives into singles, which is kind of annoying for archiving, but I'm also never gonna do anything with these images again, so that's probably not an issue. So here we go, ready for the first print. There it goes. So now I'm gonna pull the actual film. There it is. Now I'm just gonna let this develop for a minute and a half and maybe I'll load up a new slide while that's going on. That's a minute and a half now. Oh, that is awesome. So there it is. I feel like that needs to be printed darker because the highlights are a little blown out. I'm almost on the darkest setting already, but maybe I'll try one more and just let it fully develop. So here's a second attempt. Hopefully this one works out nice. I actually think the framing is pretty much perfect. It has that nice little flash star over here and it's not cropped too tightly. So while that print is developing, I'm gonna pick out the next one that I wanna print. And I think it's this car shot. This one's actually on my Instagram from a long time ago. So now I need to cut. 
oh, this one turned out much nicer. So here's pretty much the two. This one was printed darker and I like the look of that one a lot better. I think that's a nice print. So this is the slide holder that I've been using. I basically put the negative in there, close that, then you can put it on here. And this is essentially where you can very minimally adjust the crop of the negative a little bit. I'm gonna put this slide in here. My exposure's all the way down and it's gonna hit print. This is the really fun part. There it is. Oh, that one really turned out nice. So the print is still somewhat overexposed even though I have it at the darkest setting, but the colors really do look nice. I'm not really sure how many prints I have left at this point. I think I'll try and just make a couple more. So while that is developing, I should probably mention I'm printing some ectochrome negatives, the new ectochrome, not the old stuff. Oh, this is the best one yet. That just has such a clean exposure on there. It's my buddy Koji, you might know his work. That is super cool. Yes, dude, look at that. That is just perfect. It's very magenta on this one, which is interesting, but I like it. I'm really surprised how these results turned out, aside from maybe the first two shots, which I had to experiment on a little bit. Just to get the exposures right, I think all the rest of these prints look really cool. They're fun little objects to have. I had a great time making this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Finally, I wanna say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point and their incredibly customizable templates have made it so easy for me to get a custom portfolio up and running on the internet. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Yeah. Thanks for watching. My Instagram will be in the description. That's it for now. Peace.